Something I do quite a bit is I use actual movie footage as a movie clip, and then I apply special effects to that. What I'm talking about is, in the case of this particular piece of footage, let me just go ahead and double-click on it so we can see what it looks like. I'll put it on stage here, and we'll play it. And you see that it plays about 45 frames of this lightning footage. But that's great, but what if I want to animate it? What if I want to make it fade in and out and make it go across the screen? Well, what I can do is turn this into a movie clip and then apply those effects. So what I can do is go to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and I can call this Lightning Movie or whatever I want to. And once again, I always put MC for Movie Clip. And then what I can do is I can apply a special effects. As you see here, I now have these options. I can change the alpha and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this footage on frame one. I'm going to move it right here. And I'm going to use my free transform tools and I'm going to resize it like this. Let's also go to our frame, let's say it's frame 30. Let's press F6. Let's move our footage back to the center of the stage. And let's scale it up. And let's also rotate it just a little tiny bit like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to extend this out a little bit, just a little tiny bit like this. And we're going to now rotate it so that it's back to normal. And I'll shrink it down just a tiny bit like this. So what I have is I have three keyframes. And on frame one, I'm going to decrease the alpha of this footage so that it's invisible, zero. On frame 30, it's completely visible. And then on the last frame, we're going to fade it out just a tiny bit. So we're going to go to the alpha here, and we're going to fade it so it's halfway visible. Let's also play around with the tint a little bit. Let's give it a, like a greenish tint. So now that we've applied all these effects to this piece of footage that used to be just a regular movie, we're going to now insert a tween, a motion tween. Now, don't forget, you can't watch the actual footage playing. You can only watch the tweens. To watch the footage playing, the lightning storm, we have to go to Control, Test, Movie. And now we have this really cool piece of footage that is transforming while it's actually playing. Now you could use this for all kinds of cool things, such as motion graphics. You could use Flash to do, to do like a, a TV news program. This just in, the lightning storm. You know, so you can do all kinds of cool stuff. So keep in mind that the tools in Flash can be bended to your will. All you have to do is think about things that you can apply to these techniques and experiment. I'm going to go ahead now and change the background here and let's test this out again so we can see a little bit better example of this. So just use your imagination. You can come up with all kinds of cool techniques.